y'all. It's been a few days since we've shown y'all the plants. Check out the bell peppers. It's definitely bell peppers. I mean, I'm I'm like 98% sure it's bell peppers. <laughs> Unless they start turning orange and get hot, then we'll know that they're not. Do we have any over here that are ready to pick? I don't think so. These are slowing down on me. They were doing like really, really good. We don't have any ready. Tabasco peppers doing good. There are probably like 300 on here. I don't really know. We haven't counted them, but there are a lot of them. I mean a lot. Oh, there's a caterpillar on this one. Okay, y'all. I just, I made a terrible mistake. I don't know which pepper plant it was. I'm thinking the Tabasco one, but I just, you know, was looking at them and then my eye itched and I rubbed my eye with my hand that I was touching them with. Now it's on fire and watering. It's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of water ring action going on. We came up here to see if we had any more eggs. Tyler already got them this morning, but there were only four. Here come the chickens. <laughs> Anytime we come out, they follow us around because they want us to give them some more feed. They have some in their little feeder in here. They think it's different feed when we feed it to them. I don't know. Either they think it's different feed or they just like to come around us and for us to give them feed. Anyway, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. I had this little pink clip in my hair holding it over here like I did a wraparound hair thing. It just broke. I think we got those from Marshalls and that is the fourth one that has broken while in either my hair or Sissy's hair. Those are not the best little clips. But yeah, I got some soup beans started in the Instant Pot. Tonight for supper, I'm making beans and cornbread, but we also have lots of hamburgers left from last night. We have buns left too, so the kids can have cheeseburgers or they can have beans and cornbread and eat the hamburger patty like it's a little hamburger steak. I'm probably just gonna eat beans and cornbread. Oh, and some carrots. I had carrots left over from the night before last. So when we go back in, all I have to do is make the cornbread. I got some Granny Smith apples in the grocery haul the other day, and I still had some here from last week. So we're gonna use some of those to make an apple cobbler. You found another one? Manly keeps bringing me all these leaves that he's finding. They are beautiful. They sure are. All right, y'all, we are back inside. We'll go ahead and get the cornbread in the oven. I'm using the yellow cornmeal. We used to use the white cornmeal all the time, white cornmeal mix, but then I used yellow cornmeal one time. I can't even remember why or when. It's been a while back, but we really liked it a lot better. Like the white cornmeal, it's good, but it's a little more gritty textured than the yellow cornmeal mix or you know yellow cornmeal cornbread <laughs> it's a little fluffier so we started liking that better and that's what I've been making ever since I do though I will say this I made cornbread dressing with the yellow cornmeal uh, mix for the cornbread you know and it was not as good so definitely for cornbread dressing I'm gonna go back to the white cornmeal mix for the cornbread dressing next time I make it. It's much better with the white.
know, I was going to try to draw a tree, but I think I went in the wrong direction with that. Okay, I get cheese. I think it was like a mad crab. The trees ain't working out for me, right? Nope. Okay, let's do it this way. It's a house. Is it a house? Okay. Let's draw a little mountain here. It's snowing. What else, Geek? Uh, a reindeer. A reindeer? Okay, here we go. Let's see here. They like reindeers. You like reindeers? Uh-huh. And the reindeer, that's small Oh, Santa Claus, he's ready to deliver them presents. That's about all I can do. It almost looks like Mr. Potato Head, don't you? Um, I don't like potato head. You don't? Nope. Well, let's erase this deal then. All right, for the apple cobbler, I've got some butter melting in a nine by 13 casserole dish in the oven. I had to use a little bit of that whipped butter because I ran out of sticks. So that's what that was in the pan, but it's melting in there. Now we're gonna get the apples ready. We're putting in some brown sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg. Now we're just gonna toss these, make sure we get all the apples coated. In this bowl, we're gonna put a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, and that's it for the batter. We're gonna mix this all up and pour it over the butter, but we're not gonna stir it. We're just gonna pour it over the melted butter and then the same thing with the apples. We're just gonna put the apples on top, but not mix them in, just place them on top of the batter and then it's gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes. Southern sides over here with this your beans. This is southern sides. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few on my plate. Oh no, you're, you're messing up my sides dish. Oh, okay. It's fine, go ahead. <laughs> Soup beans, carrots, tomato, onion. We also have cucumbers and one pepper left right here. My peppers are slowing up on my plants outside. This one didn't come from my plant. They never got that big. <laughs> What you do is put you a slab of cornbread right there on top of them soup beans. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that pepper and just put it right there into that whole bundle of joy right there. Oh yes. That's just all you can call it. 